Okay, how you doing YouTube? This is my new video here and I'm going to show you how to remove rust from a rusty panel, rusty bracket or something that you don't want to have to actually replace. This is the bucket that I'll be using. Whoa, does that smell? And to get the rust off, I'm not going to be using any caustic cleaners or anything. I'm going to be using this and a lot of water. Stay tuned. Okay, what we're doing here is we're pouring in our molasses for our soup that we're making and it's nine parts of water to only one part molasses. I've got uh, two little jugs there, 16 ounces I think, and that's 32 and so I'll need nine 18 quarts, I guess, of water to that I've already poured in there. So now I'm just kind of rinsing the containers out a little bit to get every last drop of molasses out of there so we'll have something that we can use to do the rust removal, which is called chelation. You can look it up on the internet if you like. All those nice big words in science class that you probably slept That's through different. as well as I did most of the time. Because science was never as fun as this is. This was cool. Um, you'll see when the parts come out. They came out really, really good. I first heard about this, saw this on a YouTube video from these guys from Australia. And apparently if you live, I guess, out in the country or whatever in Australia, you can get massive quantities of molasses. They had jugs that were like they look like the five gallon jug you use for oil when you're going to fry a turkey and it had, was full of molasses and they were doing whole car fenders and whole car bodies of real old like 20s and 30s cars uh, that was really cool that's where I first learned about this and thought I would bring it to you guys here Now for our rusty pieces of metal. One hood spring, two hood springs. These things are very expensive if you want to get them replaced. Mine aren't broken, they're just rusty. So let's see what we can do about fixing that. into the sauce we go, put the lid on it, okay it's been two weeks now and I've taken them out of the sauce and they're all black and icky looking. Um, so I gotta wash them off. I left my hose at the house. This is a little workshop I've got uh, in storage area. And so these little projects like this that take a long time, I can leave them here and I don't have to mess with them. Uh, so right now all I'm doing is washing off all the, the goo that is collected on them and inspecting them. They look really, really good.
That's so much better. Remember what they looked like before? No more rust. Take a rattle can, spray them, they'll be ready for installation. I like the way it works so well, I'm going to do it again. This time, a little more molasses and a lot more water. This is going to be about 10 gallons worth. Uh, these are two support brackets for the hood, which you can't buy without buying the hood, and the front latch area. And I'm sorry I didn't get a picture of it beforehand, but uh, I think I had problems with my camera. But right now we're just filling up the, the bucket, which is going to get really heavy really fast because a gallon of water, or 10 gallons of water, is I guess about 80 pounds plus three pieces of metal. So the bucket got a little heavy for me, but it's a bigger bucket than what I had before. And I'm just pouring in the water. Nine to one again, one part molasses, nine parts water. pink t-shirt whenever you're doing something like this on a what would be considered a rat rod almost. Now this is pouring in the rest of the molasses from the last job I did. Uh, you can use it over and over. It's not going to go bad. You just have to keep it covered somewhere where it will won't evaporate on you. And it's best to keep it covered because this batch here is sitting for a full month and it would evaporate the water out of there and the parts would start to be exposed again. So you have to keep a bucket that you can use that'll be a that'll be covered. Alright. Put it in here on August 7th. Today's the 14th. And that's what it looks like. Yum, yum. Put those molasses in something. I don't think so. That's all the crud and the actual rust that's coming off of the pieces that are in there. A couple more weeks. Should have something decent. There's the pieces as I'm taking them out of the molasses. I've got gloves on only because the molasses is kind of icky and I don't really want to stain my hands. Or it's kind of like when you're cutting onions and you smell the onions for days almost. Um, the molasses would stay with you for a while. Uh, that's one of the hood braces there. Uh, but I've got the little piece of string or something stuck to it. But I've got uh, the stick there to pull it out of the water because I don't want to get my watch messed up. And just pulling them out. And we're going to clean them off. I've remembered my hose this time. And we'll show you what it looks like when we're done. What I'm doing is just spraying off the residue that is left from the molasses. It's got like a black coating on it when you pull them out of the water. 
and I just started washing that off and the results were incredible because these pieces were, were pretty nasty. Uh, they'd been underneath that hood for, well, 1955, so that's a good almost 60 years that they were out in the weather and so forth and they had some pretty nasty rust. Uh, the bolts that were on the panel for the latch, they were just so thick with rust and corrosion and the molasses took real good care of them. It knocked it all off as you'll see when I show you the pieces up close. Sorry I didn't get any pictures of it beforehand but uh, you know, I, like I said I think I had camera problems. So, you'll see what they look like after, and it's, they look almost like they're brand new. I know this video has gone a little longer than the last couple that I did, but hopefully I've got more content in this one, and it's a subject that I think uh, doesn't have a lot of other people doing it on YouTube, so I thought I would put out mine and let you all see how this stuff actually works, and it works really, really well. The one thing I will say is, though, you have to immediately coat them uh, with some kind of phosphorus or paint or something of some kind because as you will see they did start to flash rust on me and that was only a few minutes when I went and talked to a friend of mine here at the shops. So that's one thing you have to absolutely be sure of is they will start rusting on you if you don't put something on there to prevent it. Wow. I mean, that's about all I can say. This is incredible. The work that it did in just a little over a month. All that flaky rust is gone. The little bit of almost like flash rust you can see right now will be no problem whatsoever. Wipe that off. Throw some paint on it and it'll be good for another 50 years. Look at this nut. Look at that. I couldn't have turned that before. I don't think I'll have any trouble getting it off now. I tried these. They weren't coming off before. There's nothing holding them on now that won't be able to be taken off. Uh, see you later next time on my next video. Bye.